boys and girls, it's Mrs. Cook. I hope that you are all doing well. I miss you so much. I'm coming you, to you today with a fun activity that you can do now that the weather is getting nicer. Um, what I did is I came out in my driveway and I made some different shapes and I thought that we could work on different things depending on what level you're at and what you're working on. So what I did is I started with different colors of chalk and I made different shapes like squares and ovals and circles and rectangles, even some, um, some rhombus there and some of my shapes aren't that great and that's okay. Um, just kind of working on the proper formations and different things. So depending on what you're working on is what you're going to want to fill your shape with. You can do um, lowercase letters, uppercase letters, maybe some sight words. Um, or even some addition or subtraction problems, some multiplication or division, your name, or even um, map man if you're working on learning how to draw a person. So what you would do is with your grown up you can work on that and figure out what shapes that you're going to have and what you decide to have them filled with. And then, this is where the fun part comes, you can get some water balloons and then you're gonna practice. So if you're working on sight words, you would, um, maybe your grown up would tell you to look for a particular word. Mrs. Cook wrote the in my. So I would say my word was my. I would take my water balloon and I would have to find it in my shapes and then I'm gonna try to splat it. And when you get to throw the water balloon, it makes your sight word disappear. Um, so you can do that for a few. Um, you know, if you were doing, um, some math problems. It could be, you know, you one plus three equals four, and you would take your water balloon and you would splat it out there. If you don't have water balloons, but you have um, a squirt bottle, what you could do is you're also working on the muscle of your hands here by taking the bottle and squirting whatever it is the problem of that particular box. So if you're going to work on the letter Z, you could take your water bottle and then you would just squirt in the same way that you would make it. So you want to squirt all the way along the top line, then a leaning line down, and then a little line across the bottom. And as you're doing that, you're working on the muscles of your hands. So just a little bit of some outside water fun while you're working on your shapes, your letters, um, and working on the muscle of your hands and having fun. So I hope you're doing well and I hope to see you soon. Bye.